Hello and welcome to another Havoc Signs video. This is part two of the video that I just showed a little while ago. I got a lot of responses. Um, also, I'm going to leave a link to my email address. It'll be easier for you to, to reach me. It's an old address. I don't care who has it. So I'm just going to go ahead and post it. So let's get started real quick. Of course, we already knew what this one is. This is the P51D. This is the Mustang. It had a 1,590 horsepower engine in it, and its max speed was 441 miles per hour. And we knew what this one is. This was a stork. This was a scout plane and a liaison plane. Cool thing about the stork was it could fly as slow as 33 miles per hour and still not stall out. Pretty evident on this plane, too. This is a Republic P-47B. This is the Razorback edition of the Thunderbolt. It has a 2,000 horsepower Pratt & Whitney double wasp 18-cylinder engine. Its max speed was 412 miles an hour. Some of these models are complete, like this one. This is the Hawker Tempest. It had a 2,180 horsepower Napier engine. First flight was in 1942, had four 20 millimeter cannons, and its max speed was 427 miles an hour. Originally, this was built to be a pursuit airplane, and it failed miserably because it died out at high altitudes. Then they found out it was a great tank buster and train dem demolisher. This is a Fiat G50. This is the Francia has an 840 horsepower 14 cylinder engine first flew in 1937 its top speed was 293 miles per hour and now we have this plane it's a i don't even think this is a uh, 172 scale might be a little bit bigger but anyway i i just built it this is a float plane it's a ryan st slash pt-20 it's a pontoon float plane. This here, all I know about this biplane is it's a Newport NI-17. Thanks for someone giving me the tip on that. You know who you are. This is the Albatross. That's all I know about this. Also from another tip. World War I airplane, biplane. This is the Messerschmitt, the BF-109E. It had 11,000 horsepower, Demler benz engine. Its top speed was 354 miles per hour. First flew in 1937, all the way to the end of the war, they were still in production. Two machine guns and one 20 millimeter cannon. This is the Mitsubishi A6 M5-52. Zero. This had an 1130 horsepower engine. Top speed was 354 miles an hour. It had two 20 millimeter cannons and two machine guns. First flew, 1943. This one here is a German plane. This is number 11. It's a Henschel. AS-123 had an 880 horsepower BMW 9-cylinder engine. Its max speed was 214 miles an hour and had two machine guns and it first flew in 1935. Now, originally I thought this was the same, but it's not. This is not a Tempest. It is a British plane, and it's identical to the Tempest. But their armament was a little bit different. This is when they realized, oh, these are great tank killers. This is the Typhoon. Because it was fully loaded with bombs and cannons, even though it's identical in every make of the uh, Tempest, it was a little slower. Its top speed was 412 miles an hour.
Okay, now here we got a dry spell. Take a look at the landing gear on that plane. I think this is a Czechoslovakian plane, but I'm not sure. It's missing the prop and the, and the canopy. This is number 13. Don't know what this is. I think this is a French plane, but I'm not sure. It's missing the landing gear and the canopy. It's number 14. Don't know what this is, but it has unusual... It's like the machine guns fire above the engine cowling. Number 15. I also don't know what this is, but it's very unusual. At first I thought it was a Messerschmitt, but I don't think so. Look at how far back the cockpit goes. The Spitfire and the Hurricane cockpit never sat this far back, so it's not a British plane. I'm just not sure what it is. Okay. Number 16. This is a Boeing P-26 Pea Shooter. It had a 600 horsepower, 9-cylinder, Pratt & Whitney R-1340 Wasp. Its top speed was 234 miles per hour. First flew in 1932. It was equipped with two 30 mil, .30 machine guns. That's a Messerschmitt, ME-163 Comet. The engine was loaded with 3,750 pounds thrust. It was a rocket. It was built by Walter. The engine was the HWK, max speed, almost 600 miles an hour, 596 miles an hour. It was equipped with two 30 millimeter cannons. First flew in 1941, operational. 1943. A little too late to see anything. And this is the Gloucester Whittle. First flew in 1941. It carries the turbojet and its top speed is 466 miles an hour. I believe it was a Whittle or a Whitney turbojet. Not really sure. Number 19. Gloucester Gladiator. It had an 840 horsepower Bristol Mercury engine. Top speed was 253 miles an hour. It had four Browning .30 machine guns. First flew in 1935. Number 20. Take a look at this. It looks like the Marin from France, but it's not because it only has three stacks on the side. I have no idea what plane this is. This is number 20. This is 21, and this is the Marin, the Sillionier. Don't quote me on that name. This is the MS-405. It had an 860 horsepower V12, top speed was 302 miles an hour, 120 millimeter cannon, and one machine gun. First flew in 1935. Number 22. Not sure what this one is. Looks like a Thunderbolt, but it's fixed landing gear. Thought it was a Japanese plane. Can't really tell. Number 22. You would think I would know what this plane is because it's so unusual. But I have not been able to trace it. This is number 23. Look at the rear gunner, isolated in its own cockpit. The front cockpit is a two-seater. Not sure what this plane is. This is a very cool plane. This is a Westland Lysander. First flew in 1936, has an 890 horsepower Bristol Mercury engine. Top speed is 212 miles an hour. It was equipped with two .303 machine guns. 
Westland Lysander, number 24. And then the final one, number 25, eluded me for a little while, but I finally figured it out. That is made, that plane was made in Australia. It is a boomerang. Has a 1200 horsepower Pratt and Whitney R1830 twin wasp engine. Top speed was 305 miles an hour. It first flew in 1942, all the way to the end of the war. It had two 20 millimeter cannons and four .303 machine guns. Well, that's everything. That's up to date. If you're missing, if you know the names of the missing planes, please contact me either by email or just add it in the uh, section box where you can add your statements. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and a better life. See ya.